Okay. Only a woman can tell my story. So well and eloquent. That's a great life. You know, I have been I have these great friends that allow me to you know, to hang out up in the up in the, the upper west side. And, and so I used the old 96 Street station out of my used to in the 70s. I, I feared for my life because I had made the mistake of finding out that death which was shot a block away from the park that I lived on. And, uh, and I lived on, on 93rd Street by the Joan of Arc statue in Riverside. And, uh, and I kept looking for that damn phone booth that Charles Bronson runs into, and it's just not there. So I, I carried a, a sock full of quarters with me, as Charles did. You know, I wasn't looking for trouble, but it was certainly at the 96th Street station. Uh, and one time I, uh, you know, the 96th Street station, you could see across, you see, you could see people sitting on the other side, and they used to have seats there. Uh, so it's beautiful. I think I was about 19 or something like that. Just way too. It. But you don't do it in New York. Especially today. So I waved her, she waved back at me. I think. And there's another guy behind me. Might have been him, but you know, the songwriter just turns it into some amazing thing. Which I uh, I immediately you know, ran home and wrote the song in my little apartment, my little $500 a month, four bedroom, three war building on 93rd Street uh, that I had a chance to buy for about 80 grand, but uh, way too much. I needed a less hall instead. Yeah.